um, a new legacy added to the Barbie and Ken storyline. Is that fair to say? Yeah. What happened? Pretty historic night for both of you. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> a career high for you, um, a near career high for you, Kennedy. Um, you both just seem to, at times during tonight's game, put the team on your back in big moments. Um, what was, I guess, the feeling for both of you in, in terms of being able to do that, but also maybe needing to take over in moments? Yeah, I know my teammates need me in moments like that. Um, so I try to do whatever I can to help win. Um, obviously, I got not as many rebounds, so I had to kind of get get to the basket more tonight. Um, but, of course, it's easy playing when everybody's trying to guard Kennedy. I can kind of move around and, and get open and be open. So she kind of makes my job easy. Yeah, playing in Seattle is not easy. It's very loud. People cheer very loudly. And uh, you hit those... Uh, less free throws, mm -hmm. like very cold blooded. And I told her, I was like, give it to her. <laughs> She's going to shoot them. So give my credit because I, I believed in my teammate, period. Yeah. yeah so talk about that process. You've seen everyone mm -hmm. like wanting you to yeah. this. I mean, I haven't always really been great at free throws. Um, it's been obviously a work in progress for me and just continue to just get better. But to be able to have teammates and coaches that trusted me, my coach C-Rod was like, you got to take the free throws. You don't, you're our best free throw shooter out there right now. So just being able to step up there with confidence every single day in practice, we shoot 50 free throws at the end. So I'm always focused for that. So like that, like that moment, it was nothing for me. Kennedy, you had 33, almost Shit. matching your career high of 35. But what was the mentality going into tonight and just what kept you in the groove all game? I'm just really working hard outside of what you guys see. I'm just really trying to stay locked in on my craft each and every day. Just trying to get better, become a better player every day. It's noticeable. <laughs> Thank you. The, the way you attack the rim, it, it looks easy, but we know it's not. Um, can you describe kind of what you're feeling when you get to the rim the way that you do? Um, it's just being a little bit deceptive. I like to read holes and I like to read gaps. So as soon as I see just what the defense is giving me, I just like to take the opportunity. I take what they give me. I'm very un unpredictable. And I think that's what helps me out a lot. Mm -hmm. Coach, you look very happy. Uh, <laughs> and, <laughs> that's which, she? Uh, so <laughs> I was talking to Elaine Zellin yesterday, asking her, uh, what is different in the Chicago sky today from the one that faced the storm earlier in the season? She said that it, it, the the starting unit, it's everyone knows each other, it's flowing. What do you see in that process? That's exactly what it is. They're trusting one another. They they, they trust, they see in each other. They, they're very confident in one another and they, they're flowing. There's a way to flow in, a way to flow out. They flow in very, very well together and understanding in any situation, they, they know how to flow out. And that's big whenever you put together a group like this and they know who to go to. They know who to go to. 